If you've been living with spasticity after stroke, maybe your hand curls up or your foot drags and Botox isn't cutting it, there may be another option you've never heard of. And for some people, it works in minutes. I want to share what I recently learned from Dr. Paul Winston, a rehab physician in Canada who's been pioneering a totally different approach. Over the years, I've spoken with hundreds of stroke survivors who've tried Botox for spasticity. And for some, it's been life-changing. But for many, the results have been underwhelming. I recently came across Dr. Winston's work and it made me stop and think, why aren't more stroke survivors hearing about this? It's called Diagnostic Nerve Blocks and Cryoneurolosis, and it could be a game changer for some of you watching. Spasticity happens when your brain can't properly tell your muscles to relax. They stay tight, stiff, and sometimes painful. Botox works by temporarily weakening those muscles, but it doesn't always give the results people hope for. Dr. Winston's approach starts with something called a diagnostic nerve block, basically numbing the nerve that controls the tight muscle. If that works, they know exactly which nerve is causing the problem. Then instead of just Botox, they can use a technique called cryoneurolosis, freezing that nerve for a few minutes so it stops sending those overactive signals for months, sometimes even years. The big difference here is prediction. Instead of waiting weeks to see if Botox might help, they test it first with a numbing injection under ultrasound. If your muscle relaxes during the test, they know the freezing will likely help. It's also quick. We're talking five minutes for one nerve and minimally invasive done through the skin. No big surgery and the nerve slowly regrows over time. So a couple of stories from the video that I'm going to post in the description here, where a woman with MS who wasn't getting enough relief from Botox after nerve freezing, she could walk more easily and the benefits lasted nearly a year. A man with a severely clenched, painful hand who avoided major surgery because the nerve freezing relaxed his muscle and relieved his pain. A young child with complex disability who couldn't lie flat comfortably. Within weeks, they were able to rest in their stroller again. These aren't just medical wins, they're real quality of life changes. Walking without tripping, opening your hand for the first time in years, sitting comfortably again. Of course, like any procedure, it's not a magic bullet. Not everyone will be a candidate and you'd need an experienced clinician who understands both the ultrasound mapping and the freezing technique. It's also worth knowing that the results aren't permanent, but for some they last months or years before needing a repeat. If you've had little or no success with Botox, for your spasticity, it's worth having a conversation with your rehab doctor, neurologist, or physiatrist about whether diagnostic nerve blocks or cryoneurolosis could be an option for you. I'll put a link to Dr. Winston's work in the description so you can see the full details and examples for yourself. The point isn't to sell you on one treatment. It's to remind you that recovery options don't stop just because one thing didn't work. There are always new techniques emerging and you deserve to know about them. If you found this helpful, hit like, share it with somebody who might benefit and subscribe for more recovery stories and ideas. And remember, you're not done healing and neither are we.